we now have access to the Canon EOS R6's technical specifications. Specifications aimed at photographers. Granted, the image is low resolution, and it's certainly hard to read, but it does offer validation on what we've told you since October. Click subscribe and we'll get right to it. And please check to see if you are subscribed. Some viewers have reported being unsubscribed by YouTube. Hi, I'm Simon, and this is likely our last video before the announcement late tonight, as we click over into November the 6th at 1 a.m. Now, we will start our live coverage of the announcement starting at 11.45 p.m. tonight. That's November the 5th, Eastern Time, Toronto and New York Time. And I'm going to be doing so with my expert guest panel, taking you right up to the announcement. Now, just one word of warning. These specifications are technical, hence technical specifications. If you're a photographer, well, then you're going to love this. It does answer a lot of the questions that, well, we haven't been able to answer until just now. So, without further ado, these are the technical specifications for the Canon EOS R6 Mark III. The total effective megapixels is 32.5 out of a total of 34.2, and it does come with a Digic X image processor, but no Digic Accelerator. And obviously, it has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio and one of those built in low pass filters that's common on Canon sensors with Bayer filters. Love them or hate them. And we get confirmation on IBIS, up to 8.5 stops of vantage at the center, and 7.5 stops peripheral depending on the lens used. It does come with a dual pixel autofocus version 2 with a working range of minus 6.5 EV to 21 measured at 23 degrees Celsius at ISO 100. We get one shot servo AF, AI Photos AF, with automatic selection and 1053 available autofocus areas when automatically selected. The technical specifications also lift off in details the various AF point selection modes, of which I'm not going to get into now, but you can read off these a little bit later on. But it essentially looks like we get the same ones that we saw on the Mark II. In terms of autofocus tracking, it provides human face, eye, head, and body tracking, dogs, cats, horses, and birds for animals, and vehicles covers off racing cars, motorbikes, airplanes, and trains. But no boats or UFOs. It essentially gets the same autofocus system that we find in the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, minus that action priority mode. And who knows, maybe the predictive analytics as to where the subject is going, uh, that's something that's supposed to be in the Digic Accelerator. We might not get that here, but it really depends on what they've done in terms of firmware versus, well, hardware. We get all the standard metering modes, evaluative, partial, spot, and center weighted. The metering brightness range is between minus three EV to 20, again at 23 degrees Celsius and ISO 100. And we also get to find out what is meant by ISO 64000. So as I suggested in previous videos, it was incomplete. Now the standard ISO range is between 100 and 64,000, but the extended range is between 50 and 102,400. I think that's what a lot of us were looking forward to seeing the extended range. Now the shutter type and speeds, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III has an electronically controlled focal plane shutter and electronic shutter function on the sensor, along with mechanical and electronic first curtain shutter between 30 and 1 8 thousandths of a second. No surprises under white balance, we get automatic white balance for various different types of shooting modes, daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten light, and so on. And the viewfinder is an OLED EVF with up to 120 frames per second on 3.69 million dots. Now that's definitely lower than what some of the specifications, the rumored specifications had said, touting a 5.76 million dot. Now this goes to what my previous source that provided me with all the specifications including CF Express Type B, which we'll get to in a moment, the source said it didn't really look any different to the Mark II. And based on this resolution and these technical specifications, it's really looking like the EVF is no different than what we saw on the Mark II. Oh, let me just pause that for now. It has an approximate 0.76 times magnification and 100% coverage. Several weeks ago, a new source came to me telling me a whole bunch of wonderful specifications, which I told you guys about. And at the time, it was believed to be that the Canon EOS R6 Mark III would come with dual SD card slots. And even Canon rumors at the time said, yep, guys, dual SD card slots. And I said, no, my source says that we're going to get CF Express Type B cards. Well, card slots. We have to buy the cards ourselves. And many thought, well, that was a bit of a fantasy. Well, 
Canon confirms it in a poster. Well, sort of. Way down on this poster for the EOS R6 Mark III that says, discover the power, unleash your passion, it says CF Express and UHS-2 SD card slots. Well, that's as clear as mud, isn't it? Now, what Canon could do is they could provide us with CF Express Type A, Type B, or Type C. Here, this diagram will help you a little bit. Using CF Express PCI Gen 3, Type A gives a maximum theoretical write speed of 1000 megabytes per second, and that's what we see on most Sony cameras, Type A CF Express cards. But we can see with Type B that it jumps up to 2000 megabytes per second. And as of today, there is no Type C. But go ahead to V4 cards, and we can see the speed doubles, giving us close to 4000 megabytes per second. And Angelbird, one of the leaders in CF Express cards, offers a 2TB, 4TB, and 1TB with a maximum sustained write speed of 3.5 gigabytes per second. So Canon does confirm in this poster that we are getting CF Express. They're just not confirming which type. Now, I'm willing to predict, I'm willing to bet that it's going to be type B. It doesn't make sense to do type A because your speeds, it would be a good cripple hammer move, wouldn't it though? I really don't see them doing type A. I expect them to do type B. Nikon does type B. Canon does type B with their R5. They're able to use the same sort of parts for multiple cameras, brings the cost down. Canon likes to do that. So I'm willing to predict it has type B. And again, my sources said type B. So let's go ahead and go with that. So these technical specifications, what's missing? Well, if you notice, there was no discussion about, well, video capabilities and even some of the um, stills um, capabilities in terms of frame rates was missing here. So we're only getting one page of the technical specifications. So I'm getting a sense that um, Canon Rumors is teasing us a little bit and maybe in an hour or two, they're gonna drop another technical specification, more pages and just drag this thing out, which I can't say I blame them. I'd probably do the same thing. So, um, and if you are interested in pre-ordering the Canon EOS R6 Mark III, first of all, join me tonight live 11.45 p.m. where we talk about the latest and greatest of the Canon EOS R6 Mark III, everything that's leaked out with my expert guest panel of photographers and videographers. And if you are looking to pre-order, then please consider using or copying down my links down below, the links that I have for b and and Adorama for those of you in the United States, Wex Photo and Video in the United Kingdom, and for the rest of Europe, Photo Ka. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, for each purchase, we get a small commission back, helping to keep the lights on and avoid those multiple minute long Squarespace and VPN sponsorships. Got nothing against Squarespace and VPN, but this channel doesn't cover, well, networks and um, websites. So I just don't see the sense of doing any of those VPNs, um, I mean, sponsorships. Thank you so much. I'll probably be back here in a few hours. And if not, I'll see you tonight at 11.45. Uh, I just want to hurry up and get this one edited and out to you. Um, later today because this is currently my lunch break so I'm rushing to get everything done really quickly and out to you so again forgive me uh, forgive the poor quality of this one because I have very little time to double check things and hopefully I haven't left too many mistakes in here thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon very soon